Well, Wilf, it brings up the question, what happens when they restart production? And what are the production schedules going to look like, let's say, six months or a year down the road? As you take a look at shares of both Boeing and Airbus, not a whole lot of movement relative to this news today. They're both off about 60 percent since the middle of February. And yes, there are no final assembly plans for the commercial airplane makers operating right now in the U.S. Airbus they have, have essentially, since 2009, almost doubled their A320 production. That's one of the planes that they build down in Mobile, Alabama. What will happen, let's say, six months or a year down the road? Also, one other note regarding the airline industry. United today out with a reduced schedule for its two hubs in San Francisco and Los Angeles. Cutting them back by 35 percent. We're going to see this with all the airlines, with all of their hubs. As the DOT has said, it's okay to go down to a bare minimum schedule. Guys, back to you. Phil, are the French and German governments stepping up to help Airbus uh, in a more concerted, clear way than, than the U.S. is for, for Boeing? Or where do we stand on that, that comparison? Well, we still don't know exactly how the U.S. is going to be helping Boeing. We're waiting to find out the terms and whether Boeing accepts those terms or money from the federal government. And that's up to the Treasury Department at this point. And in terms of France and Germany, we haven't seen a definitive final answer in terms of what they may do for Airbus. But make no mistake, they will step up to help Airbus.